internetas internetas In this uh, vocabulary lesson we'll see uh, the terms that are used in the internet in various websites and Facebook in YouTube uh, we'll see the keywords and the basic words that are needed um, in order to use the internet and well uh, since the terms are new uh, there are many English loan words and uh, they are actually uh, well not uh, not official they are not the official uh, words but uh, Lithuanian has also its own terms uh, new words which are used to describe such uh, various uh, phenomena that are now uh, in the internet so if anyone uses the English words, the loan words, uh, you will understand it. But uh, in order to understand the real Lithuanian words, which are used in the internet pretty often, most of them, um, you will see them on this in this video. And let's start our lesson. Internetas, internetas, laidai, laidai. Belaidis internetas. Belaidis internetas. Be means without. So belaidis is wireless. Laidas laidai. Cables. Slaptas slapta. Slaptas slapta. Masculine feminine. It's the adjective that means secret. Žodis. Žodis. Slapta žodis. Slapta žodis. A password, a secret word, literally. Modemas. Modemas. Prisijungti, prisijungia, prisijungia. Prisijungti, prisijungia, prisijungia. To log in. Pri has the meaning of near or to. And this is a reflexive uh, uh, verb. Jungti means to join. And suyungti means to join two things together. And prisyungti to literally join two. Well, it means to log in. Pagaliau, at last. I logged in or, or I logged to prisyungiu prie, the internet, interneto. Prie is used with the genitive. So internetas, interneto. This is the genitive. So at last, pagaliau, I logged on, I logged to the internet. Prisjungiu pri interneto. If you have a phone and let's say you're searching for Wi-Fi and at last you logged to the internet, so you can say Pagaleu prisjungiu pri interneto. Pagaleu prisjungiu pri interneto. At last I logged on to the internet. Are you, Arto, logged in prisjungas pri uh, Facebook. Well, prisjungas prie, uh, this is a participle, the leaves, a participle uh, of the past tense. So this means locked and prie Facebook uh, to Facebook. So this uh, sentence means are you online on Facebook? Are tu prisjungas prie Facebook? Are tu prisjungas prie Facebook? Are you online on Facebook? Priya, again, pri interneto, pri Facebooko. Facebookas, Facebooko. Uh, these are genitive uh, cases. Priya requires genitive. Are tu prisjungas pri Facebooko? Are you online on Facebook? And prisjungas priya means logged in or logged to uh, a participle. So the same as online at. Are you online at Facebook? Are tu prisjungas pri Facebooko? Now the opposite uh, verb, the antonym is atsijungte, atsijungia, atsijungia. Atsijungte, atsijungia, atsijungia. To log out or to log off. At means from. Uh, there's no individual word at, but uh, the, this prefix has such meaning, off or out. Why, kodiel? 
the internet internet has locked off at Jungi. Well, this sentence is hard to translate, but Kodelats uh, internet why did the internet disappear? or something like this, you can use the sentence this way. Well, perhaps it's not the official, it's not very official, the sentence is not um, is not the, the best sentence that could be, uh, maybe not according to the official rules, but you can ta say this. Kodelats jung internetus, why did the internet log out, literally? But this means, why did the internet disappear? Kodelats jung internetus. Or, Kodelats jung no interneto, why did you log out of the internet? Kodelats jung no interneto, why did you log out of the internet? Next. Uh, I've just katik at siungyo. I've just log logged off, or I've just logged out katik at siungyo from Facebook. Noa Facebooko. Noa, uh, which is sometimes used with uh, this verb, requires genitive, just like priya. Noa also requires genitive. So Facebook is Facebooko. I've just logged out of Facebook. Or I've just logged. Uh, I've just logged out from Facebook. Katik at siungyo no Facebooko. Katik at siungyo no Facebooko. Katik at siungyo no Facebooko. Katik means just. I've just uh, logged out from Facebook. So you can say at siungte ish or at siungte no. Well, it's m probably the most used preposition with this verb is no plus genitive. So prisyungti means to log in or to log to, um, and atsyungti to log out or to log off. Vartoti, vartoja, vartoja. Vartoti, vartoja, vartoja. To use or to take. To take medicine, uh, to use language, or to um, use some other kind of things. Um, yeah, so the word user is derived from this verb. Vartotoyas. Vartotoyas. This is the suffix toy, which is used to describe a person who does something. So a person who uses is a user. Vartotoyas. The same as in English. To use, user. Vartote, vartotoyas. Username. It is the name Vardas of a user, Vartotoyan. But uh, as in Lithuanian, you should put the attribute before the noun. So you get user's name, literally. It is a username. Vartotoyo Vardas. This is genitive. Vartotoyo Vardas. Vartotoyo Vardas. And uh, you know that genitive describes attributes, or genitive is used to show attributes. So, a name of a user, a username is Vartotoyo Vardas. Now, let's see some more useful vocabulary. Uh, don't log off, don't turn this video because there will be more vocabulary, even more useful vocabulary in uh, the next slides. Prisiungimas. Prisiungimas. A login. A login. I'm sorry. Prisiungimas. This is a noun formed from the word, from the verb prisijungte. Im, im, the suffixes are used uh, for nouns, to make nouns from verbs. So prisijungimus. This is a reflexive, this was a reflexive verb, so the noun is still has the reflexive uh, particle. Prisijungimus. A login. Pamiršaus laptažodį. I forgot the password. Pamiršaus laptažodį. You often see this box uh, uh, everywhere, everywhere, all over the internet. Pamiršaus laptažodį. I forgot the password. Pamiršaus laptažodį. Prisiminti mane. This literally means to remember me. Uh, it's like a command for the computer. To remember me. So, mane is the accusative of the word I, of the uh, pronoun I. Mane, accusative. To, to remember me literally means remember me. It's a, a command to a computer. 
to a, to a website. Prisiminti mane. Prisiminti mane. You will see this checkbox next to these words. Prisijungti automatiškai. Prisijungti automatiškai. To log in automatically. Again, this is the same checkbox uh, that's next to the login buttons. It means to log in automatically or to remember this username. And you check this text, uh, I'm sorry, this checkbox. Next. Miktukas. Miktukas. A button. Spausti, spaudja, spaudia. Spausti, spaudja, spaudia. To click or to push. Paspausti, paspaudja, paspaudia. Paspausti, paspaudja, paspaudia. To click. A finished action or a perfect, uh, perfective verb. Krautis, kraunasi, krovesi. Krautis, kraunasi, krovesi. To be loading. For example, kraunasi. When you see an English word uh, loading in Lithuanian, it's usually kraunasi. Kraunasi. You'll see kraunasi instead of loading in Lithuanian websites. Kraunasi. Krautis, kraunasi, krovesi. Uh, to load up, or the perfective version of this word to be loading is pasikrauti, pasikrauna, pasikrovi. Pasikrauti, pasikrauna, pasikrovi. To load up. To, uh, to, to be loading a finished action. Perfective. So, the page has loaded. Puslapis pasikrovi. The page has loaded. Puslapis pasikrovi. Such an example. Next. Uh, we'll see how this word account is derived. Skirte, skira, skira. Skirte, skira, skira. To dedicate or to devote. The same is with the pa prefix. Paskirte, paskira, paskira. Paskirte, paskira, paskira. To dedicate, a finished action. And the word account is paskira. Paskira. Oh, I must be honest with you. Uh, paskira. Uh, is uh, not used uh, very often although uh, those websites if you turn your YouTube language to Lithuanian or some or your Google language to Lithuanian you'll see uh, the word paskira uh, instead of the word account as if it would be in English but in spoken Lithuanian, paskira is not so widely used, although it's uh, used by some people. It's used in the official media, in the news, uh, in interviews, in official uh, television and the internet. But in more spoken, accountus is used. Well, paskira is getting more and more popular, so uh, why not use this word? Everyone will understand you. Uh, this word is not a mystery if you use it. So I encourage you to use it since you know, Lithuanian is a small language and um, it's good to have words that are made from, from its own. Lithuanian has millions of words and why not make uh, new ones? Why should Lithuanian use some English words from foreign languages and not use its own baggage with millions of good words and with such tools with prefixes with suffixes with endings with compound nouns there are so many tools to make new words in Lithuanian and uh, those tools those uh, those unique roots Baltic roots uh, of vocabulary those thousands of words those suffixes, those prefixes are used to form new words. So paskira is one of these new words. And I really encourage you to use it instead of the word account. Uh, as well as I could, would encourage um, Lithuanians, native Lithuanians to use it. Native Lithuanian speakers should use paskira. And I'm happy that many of them use it, this, this word. Um, so let's just use this word. and. Uh, if anyone uses the English word, you'll understand it automatically, but this word is good to learn and use, so uh, thank you if you're using this word and uh, trying to save more Lithuanian words from extinction.
Now, patinka, patinka, patinka is the second basic verb form for the word to like. Well, in Facebook, instead of the word like, you'll see patinka if you change the language to Lithuanian. Prenumeruoti, prenumeruoja, prenumeravo. Prenumeruoti, prenumeruoja, prenumeravo. To subscribe. For example, prenumeruoti laikraštį. Aš prenumeruoju laikraštį. I'm subscribing... I've sus subscribed to a newspaper. A subscription to a newspaper is prenumerata. Prenumerata. The postman brings a newspaper every day for you uh, to your house so the same word to, uh, to subscribe in YouTube is used prenumeruoti prenumeruoja prenumeravo as in YouTube this word is used and uh, many more and more people are using those terms instead of the word subs uh, subscribinte uh, which is um, an English word turned to Lithuanian verb but uh, more and more people are using this new word, so it's good to know if you see Lithuanian YouTube prenumerata, a subscription to a news newspaper or a YouTube subscription and the YouTube subscriber is prenumeratorius prenumeratori prenumeratorius prenumeratori, singular or plural uh, this perhaps is from Latin language, I'm do I don't know. Prenumeruoti. Seems like Latin to me. Next. Sekte, seka, sekia. Sekte, seka, sekia. To follow. Sekeios, sekei. Followers. A singular plural. A follower, followers. And this is used in WordPress websites and in... I'm not sure, but maybe in RSS feeds, in Blogspot, in WordPress, this is Sekeias Sekei, follower, fo followers. So Sekeias Sekei. I'm not sure if this word is very popular in Lithuanian, but uh, uh, this word, uh, the word used to describe this action to follow a website, to follow news, to follow a blog. Sekte, saka, saka, this is used. But this is, I'm not sure, but it's still a good word to know. Draugai, draugai. Kviesti, kviečia, kvietė. Kviesti, kviečia, kvietė. To invite. Pakviesti, pakviečia, pakvietė. Pakviesti, pakviečia, pakvietė. To invite. A finished action, a perfective verb. Pakvietimas, pakvietimas. Invitation. Again, nouns made from verbs have this im or im suffix. In this case, it's im. Svetainia, a website. Svetainia. And this word uh, is the same uh, as the living room, which is also svetainia, the living room. Because svetis or svetis is a guest, and svetainia is a place where you welcome your guests. So, Svetainė is a living room or a website. Now, Puslapis. Puslapis. Uh, lapis means a paper or a leaf of a tree. And Pusė means ha. So, Puslapis means a, a page of a book. As well as a website or an internet page. A page. This is the, the word denoting a page. Of course, an internet or a website page. Or a page of a book. Puslapis. Puslapis. Vaizdo įrašas. Vaizdo įrašas. A video. You can also say video. Video in Lithuanian. But it's not video. Video. It's video. Video. Try to not uh, aspirate the uh, consonants. And uh, try to not elong elongate and, you know... Uh, have those waving uh, vowels like like video and so on these this is not the case for Lithuanian it's video video it's short clean uh, uniform pronunciation no elongating of vowels and uh, no a o and so on it's eh, eh, 
o and so on no such uh, things like o or a or i it's always you no know, short clean uh, vowel so video video if you're using the word video you can see video video and it of course it's not declined since uh, there, there is no declension for Lithuanian words which end in o and this word is the same in all cases so it whether it's accusative or genitive or locative it's always video 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 just like in this channel name video mokykla video mokykla so vaizdo irashas is a video and vaizdas is a view and irashas is a record irashita means to write into or to record and irashas is a noun from, made from the verb record so a record a record of a, uh, of view or image so vaizdas and image are a view so a video is vaizdo irashas vaizdo irashas next Nuotrauka, nuotrauka, a photo. Some more words left, useful words. Tinklas, tinklas, a net. And by the way, the word internet, uh, internetus, is sometimes replaced by the word genetinklis. Genetinklis, genos means knowledge, gene means a piece of news and genus news or knowledge and genetinglis is a compound noun used with this word so a net of knowledge is sometimes uh, used instead of the internet genetinglis genetinglis it's the same as internetus but the lithuanian version the no the net or of knowledge genetinglis so don't be confused if you see genetinglis in Google, for example. In Google, it's written genetinglis, not internetus. Next, rašyti. Rašyti, to write. Rašyti rašo rašy. Tinklaraštis. 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 This is the word for blog. Uh, in Lithuanian, mm, Many people still use blogos, blogos, and you know that blogos, <coughs> blogos means bad, an adjective, bad, blogos, the masculine adjective for the word bad is blogos, and a blog is sometimes called blogos, but there's a Lithuanian word, tinklaraštis, which is uh, getting more popular nowadays, and uh, again, there's a, ch a big chance uh, that you'll see this word tinklaraštis a blog blogs are officially called tinklaraštis in press in the press in the media in uh, news websites in the news and m many ordinary people are starting to use this word tinklaraštis and i hope it will be it will become more popular in the future so again uh, you, you'll better use this word, tinklaraštis, tinklaraštis, a good word, made from the word uh, net writing, net writing, so tinklaraštis, a blog, lapas, lapas, as I've said, this word has two meanings, and tinklalapis is the net leaf, or the leaf in the net, so Tinklalapis, a website, or this uh, syllable is taken out, Tinklapis, Tinklapis, a website, Tinklalapis or Tinklapis, Tinklalapis, Tinklapis. By the way, you can ask what's the plural of this word, Tinklarishtis? It's Tinklarishtje, Tinklarishtje, i, a, i, y, a, I'm sorry, I A I Tinklarašče. That turns to ch. Tinklarašče. This is masculine noun. As well as this. Tinklalapi or tinklapi. The plural. Now. Norodite, norodo, norodje. To show or to indicate. Norodite, norodo, norodje. 
Noroda a link, for example, in a web page. Noroda. Noroda. Acho kujurite, thanks for watching. I hope this lesson was useful. These are the Lithuanian terms for mm, the internet. Um, not of all, not all of them are used very widely, but the usage of the Lithuanian terms is getting more popular. So I really do hope that they will become popular uh, and even more popular than the English ones. Um, I hope that you will use them. Uh, you'll definitely see them on the internet and um, that's it for this lesson.